My name is Mike. I'm a senior product manager in the digital signage software industry. And for ACT software, I would give it a rating of three out of five. We had a considerably antiquated version and we were running into some issues with running reports out of the database and figured a upgraded version would be much better. At the time, we were also looking at using Salesforce. And while they have a robust platform themselves, they only offer one pricing model and that's a cloud-based ongoing uh, hosting solution. Uh, we wanted to have it hosted on our premises where we own the data, the server, and we pay a perpetual license. Uh, so that led us back to ACT again, and we ended up getting an upgrade with them for the newest version. The reason for choosing ACT really came down to dollars and cents. It was because they had a model that we could host at our property, um, our main headquarters uh, there in Florida, and that allowed us to pay one price. Uh, other options were a little more pricey, probably were a little uh, better of an option, uh, maybe more robust, additional features, but because of cost, we stuck with ACT. The onboarding process for ACT was quite cumbersome. Not so as much from our team. They had been using previous versions of ACT, so training was minimal, uh, but upgrading the existing version we had, transferring the database over of some 25,000 accounts, uh, we ran into a lot of issues. Uh, there was corrupt database issues. Uh, they had to rebuild our entire database, which took a number of weeks, and it was uh, really difficult to get it all up and running at one time. Even having to go back and pull new data that we had entered into the old database to add it to the new one because there was a gap between us using the old version versus the new one. Uh, so the upgrade from the version we were on uh, was, was quite difficult. When considering the possibility of using ACT as your CRM, I would just make sure you get a software demo. Look at the software. Maybe even get a test license so you can use it at your facility. Uh, main reason seems that after some time of us using it, it seems to bloat quite a bit. Uh, processes take a lot longer and it gets really slow. Um, I'm not sure if that's because of some of the configurations we have on our side, uh, but in most cases it was uh, pretty good in the beginning and the database started to kind of bog down a little bit. The other thing to look at too is the type of reports that you might generate. Reporting is not the easiest uh, out of the program. A lot of reports come back with errors and uh, trying to reach back out to ACT to even get those reports modified or configured uh, can be like pulling teeth sometimes. Uh, so they offered support. They were there when we called, uh, but they didn't necessarily offer uh, the best support uh, in my terms. Uh, so if you weigh those options out and, and maybe look at not having the need to need a, a perpetual license on premises, it might be better to go with an option that's cloud-based, a little more seamless, uh, and that might be a little more robust in your environment.